beginning of the scholarship meant that I had to negotiate and so that was a good starting point. I had to negotiate what I needed in the scholarship and the time frame. Yeah. Actually I didn't need anything to cover my wage but I needed some research costs and so we were able to negotiate that and I remember feeling pretty chuffed that wow I put forward what I thought needed and the, what the research needed and that worked and here was an organisation prepared to work with me and that community that I was in and what we needed so that was a great start. So it enabled me to have the uh, cost to do the research, pay interviewees, transcribing, and also to translate some of that research, um, including going to conferences. And also I was involved in some activism at the same time because the area of research I was working on was the health and wellbeing of prisoners and their families. So we needed to speak, to speak back to the prisoners and to families as well as to the um, you know, academy and other researchers and those different audiences need different types of you know, messages and money to pay for those types of things. I also liked that we, I was part of a community, I think that meant a lot too because I was you know, like a lot of others the first to go to uni in my family and really not even many people knew I was doing a PhD so to have people to talk to about doing a PhD and um, how to get through was yeah, just instrumental. Well, since enrolling in studies through uh, UQ and supported by the Lowitch Institute, I've gone on to be involved in a whole range of funded research projects, including by the NHMRC, the ARC, Lowitch Institute, health departments, and also community organisations. I've been involved in uh, linked data research as well as deep, beautiful, qualitative research and mixed methods research. And now I also chair a human research ethics committee, so have that really instrumental role in ensuring that the quality of research for our peoples is happening in real time.